Hi everyone, it's Monday, it's April 22nd, 2019, and I hope everyone had a beautiful weekend in the Lord. I have a couple of devotionals for you today, but first, as always, I like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this day. I love you so very much. I want to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, this is called In the Presence of Christ. And the reading is from Psalm 140, verse 13. And it says, The upright shall dwell in your presence. What would you do if you were about to meet the Queen of England? Did you know that yesterday was her birthday? It was my birthday too. We have the same birthday. <laughs> Very different people, but we have the same birthday. I'm sure you would go out of your way to dress correctly and to be properly briefed. So you, that you didn't say the wrong thing or act in an improper way. Well, someday you and I will meet a far greater sovereign, the king of the universe. His dazzling glory far exceeds that of any earthly monarch and his presence we can only bow in humble worship and praise. Our cry will be that of revelation. Quote, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, which is spoken of in Revelation 4.11. Are you prepared for that day when you will meet the King of Kings face to face? No one knows the day or the hour when life will end. The time for you to prepare is now. By committing your life to Christ, and beginning to live as a child of the king. See, the key here is to live as a child of the king. That's preparation right there for meeting him. Uh, those of you who have been veterans to my channel know that a couple of years ago, um, the Lord appeared in the back seat of my car like a burning bush. It was a big ball of gold glow. And uh, I did everything to uh, rationalize what it was, including moving my car uh, in three different spots because I thought it might be the sun reflecting off something. Then I pulled under a shade tree and there was nothing at all, no light at all coming down on me. And that ball of glow, it was still in the back seat of my car. And that morning in my prayer, I asked if I could just see a little piece of him. And who knew, just like moments uh, earlier when I asked for that in my prayer time, that, that he would show up like that. And then he, he played the song on the radio, Turn Around, Look at Me. And I knew it was him. There is someone walking behind you. Turn around. Look at me. And um, I barely made it home. Um, I mean, I felt so unworthy in his presence. Even though I'm saved, I felt that I wanted to, I couldn't get cl as closer to the floor. That's how I felt. And, and I was actively worshiping and praying and separating myself from the world. So 
I can tell you that <laughs> although we are very, very excited about seeing our Lord face to face, there is definitely going to be a reaction, you know, <laughs> to that, uh, to the holiness. See? Um, that's why we need to be transformed before we do that because in the earthly state that we are in now with our corruptible flesh that's why we we that's why i felt what i felt see i wanted to shrink and crawl under a rock that's how magnificent he is okay let's see a little bit of hope for today is christ is preparing us a place in heaven he's expecting us okay what do we need to be doing to prepare ourselves and hearts for him are we living in a way that will say upon his arrival that I was expecting you same um, it's just an amazing thing that's all, that's all I can say I'm, I'm at a loss for words that once you have an experience with the Lord, like you just can't get over it, you know. It stays with you. Just each time you tell the story, you relive it. This one is called Ambassadors Under Authority. And the reading is from 2 Corinthians 5:20, and it says, We are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading through us. What is an ambassador? ambassador is a representative and servant of his government in a foreign land basically a, 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 an ambassador is a mouthpiece for the for their country they represent the country that they come from and they go and they uh, uh, have the authority to speak for their country so that's what makes us an ambassador for God he is not free to set his own policies or to develop his own message, but must carry out the will of the government he represents. In other words, he is a person under authority. Yes, when you're under full authority of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, you become the mouthpiece of the Lord. In the same way, we are called to live on the authority of, under the authority of Jesus Christ and the authority of the scriptures. We are servants. We must live under the authority of the word of God. We are called not to do our will, but Christ's. The world today is looking for holy men and women who live under the authority of the word of God. So if you're living uh, in, in the world and you're living carnally, then you're not an, you cannot call yourself an ambassador. You cannot because you have to live according to the word, which means your life has to undergo a major change. There are major alterations that are made to your um, to your uh, demeanor, uh, to your personality, to the way you live your life, to the way you think to the way you speak, to the way you act, to what you do, is all in the authority of the Lord if you are a true ambassador of Christ. <clears throat> Unbelievers will not listen to what we say unless we back it up with the way we live. See, you know, you can't be out smoking on the corner pot with them and say that you're holy. You... You need to minister, but not hang out, see? The Lord never told you to hang out. He told you to minister, okay? Worship, witness, pray, and then walk away. That's what you're supposed to do. Are you faithful? Are you a faithful ambassador for Christ to those around you? That means you don't get sucked into their world. Okay. You, you're nice and kind to those that are not walking in the will of the Lord. 
you can reprove them, you can minister to them, but you're not supposed to hang out with them because they will rub off on you and drag you under. Okay? A little hope for today is, have you ever neglected to witness to someone for fear that you wouldn't know what to say? I think that's everyone's biggest fear. We can be confident in the message of Christ because it's God's message. It's nothing that we have to conjure up ourselves. We just speak the gospel. That's it. All praise, praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the beautiful, glorious Holy Spirit. And if you don't know Jesus, today is the day of salvation for you. I'm going to put the salvation video right behind this. I want to encourage you to come, follow along, give your heart to the Lord, and um, just don't be afraid. Don't feel corny. Uh, don't be. Don't feel silly. Okay, because we're talking about your eternal life here. Okay, everybody has to come to this point in order to receive salvation. We have to break. We have to say we're sorry and we have to repent for the life that we lived and ask for forgiveness. And Jesus will forgive you of every single thing that you've ever done that was out of his will. And he'll never look back on it, no matter how horrible it is. That's how wonderful and merciful our God is. But if you don't do this, if you don't go through Christ, you can't. You'll never see heaven and you'll never have eternal life. And you'll never see the loved ones that went before you who believed in Christ. So this is something we all have to do. Now more than ever, because we're living in the last days. Jesus can come at any moment, and we're not promised our next breath. So please, I want to remind you that I love you, and Jesus loves you. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. He loves you so very much. And he's waiting for you with open arms. Okay? God bless you. Have a beautiful day in the Lord. Don't click off. Follow the Lord.